entire district in Uganda may have been known for all the wrong reasons, ranging from the high prevalence of HIV AIDS, poverty, illiteracy, gender-based violence and child abuse. Then in 1997, this community started to see a positive transformation with the establishment of MIFUMI, a women's rights agency. With the support of MIFUMI through sensitizations, community advocacy groups were established to address human rights issues, both at community and district level. One such active group is Kirawa Women's Forum, operating in very remote villages in Turo district. Through this group, United Nations Development Program, Small Grants Program, and Global Environmental Facility were able to infiltrate these villages with more good news that would enable these communities to live healthy lives in unpolluted environments. Small Grants Program and Global Environmental Facility were going to avail the communities with solar equipment, lamps and panels. On hearing about the environmental and health friendliness of the lamps and panels, the community members were excited and overjoyed with the donations. Bankaroy, founder of Bear Food College, on hearing about Mifumi's work with the rural communities, approached Mifumi with a proposal to support the women in these communities with skills to enable them to support their communities. In September 2008, four illiterate grandmothers, Anna Odoi, Margaret Opio, Lord Okecho, and Rose Otieno were selected by their communities to travel to Barefoot College in India, train in solar electrification, who upon return would be required to solar electrify their villages with donations of solar equipment from Global Environmental Facility and Small Grants Program. The message they brought to their communities was, we have learned all we can for our communities and are ready to solar electrify our villages. The village house fires will be no more, the air we breathe will be fresher and the planet will be less polluted. The grandmothers were trained in fabrication, installation, repair, maintenance of solar lighting at Barefoot College in India. To date, the grandmothers have electrified 199 households in their villages with solar equipment donated to them by Small Grants Program and Global Environmental Facility. Businesses in the villages have blossomed and the community has started to notice the many advantages that solar electricity has brought with it, ranging from the significant wipeout of house fires readily available lighting for the children to revise their books to the reduced cost of lighting during the night. The solar panels are also environmentally friendly given that they have a 50-year lighting guarantee. The community is grateful to the United Nations Development Program, Bankaroy and Mifumi for the thoughtfulness and generous donations.